Hello, today we are making this beautiful widget for temperature and humidity using Cayenne dashboard. I am using the Wemos, the Wemos D1R1 ESP8266 and DHT11, a breadboard and three male-to-male -male jumper wires. If you're using the Nord MCU, don't worry, keep following along, this tutorial can work for you too. So now in my dashboard, to get my device connected, I need to grab this username, MQTT username, MQTT password and client ID into my codes. Notice I have the startup code for uh, handling a Cayenne dashboard. We need to go back, paste in the MQTT password and of course grab the client ID, paste it in. Then I'll need to connect my board to the Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi password, my Wi-Fi username is for, I mean, Wi-Fi SSID is 404. I'm going to put in the password. Then we need to code this DHT11 so that it can give us temperature and humidity. To do that, we need to, to first include We need to first include a DHT11 library, which is DHT11.h. Then we will need to define the pin through which our, our DHT11 is going to get connected through. In my case, the digital in, uh, pin is of the DHT11 is connected to the digital pin D8 of the board. That's what I'm going to define. I'm going to define it as define DHT11 pin. I'm going to put in D8 on my board. Then I'll need to map the pin, which is this one, and the, the library, which is what I'm going to say DHT11, then DHT11, just like that. So now I'll go down here and define a variable that is going to tell us whether the DHT11 is connected successfully or not. That's why I'm gonna, you know, define it as int check. I'm gonna call it check. It's going to be to receive the values from DHT11 dot read dot read. Then it's going to read the pin, which is DHT. A DHT 11 pin yeah just like that don't forget the semicolon and go ahead and then I need to define two more values variables which is the humidity and the temperature from the DHT 11 it's going to be float values I'm gonna call it one temp and the other one here just like this then they are going to receive the variable, the value from the DHT11 through this function. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this function, which is DHT11 dot temperature to read the temperature, which is pretty easy. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the humidity, DHT11 dot humidity, just like that. So then, to pass these values to the Cayenne dashboard, I need to use the function code Cayenne dot virtual write. Sorry, I spelled it. Virtual write. Open and close bracket. Then put in the um, put in the. The, the channel through which the temperature is going to pass through to the dashboard, put in the variable holding the temperature and I need to define to tell the Cayenne dashboard that it's the temperature that we are sending. Temperature. Just like that. Then the unit will be unit cell Celsius. Just like that. Then, for sending the humidity, I need to copy this and paste it, then change. I need the humidity to pass through the channel 2. I'll pass in hum in small letters. Then type 
is going to be humidity instead of temperature humidity then the unit will be percent because the humidity is most of the time measured in in percentages then i will need to check if my board is connected which is wemos d1 r1 then the pot and heat upload now uh, i noticed that i have written type type humidity which is rather type relative humidity so you need to change this i re realized this after I, I was uploading so now the upload is success is successfully done now i need to get back to my dashboard and see what happened now we have these beautiful gauges i mean widgets the the, the board is telling us that the temperature is 26 and the humidity is 59 percent now until next time guys thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe for more videos like this